Magandang araw, Go Negosyantes. Let's start the day right. Bago na at salubungin ang araw na puno ng inspirasyon at mga kwentong pang negosyo. I'm Ba Makino, ang inyong partner sa pagduklas ng mga winning Go Negosyo attitudes ng ating small and medium entrepreneurs. Dito lang yan sa SME Go! According to Sir Benjamin Franklin, he that can have patience can have what he will. At yan po ang papatunayan natin ngayon kasama ng mga go-negosyantes mula sa Las Piñas City. Kaya anong pag hinihintay natin? Wala. Kaya let's go! Ang Las Piñas City ay dating isang maliit na pagawaan ng asin at fishing port o bagsakan ng isda mula sa Manila Bay. Sa paglipas ng panahon, lumago ito bilang commercial, industrial at residential center. Kinilala rin ito bilang isa sa mga pinakamalinis at most competitive na lungsod sa Metro Manila at sa buong Pilipinas. Ang lungsod ay tahanan din ng sikat na bamboo organ, isang national cultural treasure na matatagpuan sa St. Joseph Church. Isa pang bagay na sikat sa lugar ay ang Sarao Motors Inc. Tagagawa ng Filipino jeepney mula pa noong 1950s. Siyempre, hindi natin pwedeng palampasin ang kanilang kwento. Kaya tara, puntahan na natin ang may-ari na to na si Mr. Ed Sarao. Sir, magandang umaga po. Good morning. Kwentuhan mo tayo tungkol uh, sa Sarao Jeepney. Ed, nagsimula ang uh, jeepney dito sa Cochero. Can you tell us paano nagsimula ang uh, public transportation ng masang Pilipino dito sa Cochero. Si tatay kasi, dating Cochero eh. At talagang, ano kami noon eh, dirt poor. <laughs> Then, nakita niya yung opportunity doon sa pagkakalesa niya, yung, yung pangangailangan ng mga Pilipino sa public transportation. At the same time, yung World War II, patapos na. Marami naman naiwan na gamit yung Amerikano. Isa na yung mga jeep. Mm. At doon nila, naigamit yung, yung takayahan nila na magbuo ng sasakyan. Okay, and ito ho yung isa sa mga early prototypes po natin, mm -hmm. no? Can you tell us kung paano po nagawa itong si 1955 Liberator? Yung basic platform namin noon, yung M38 na na uh, military jeep, yung wheelies. Mm -hmm. Kasi nung mga iniwan ng Amerikano yung mga gamit nila, ito na yung, yung jeep. Ano, yung mga Pilipino, mga paglikhain yan eh. They put into use yung mga gamit nila, revive nila yung sasakyan. At the same time, inostomize nila kasi nung mga unang panahon, may kamahalan din yung automobile at gusto nila magkaroon ng sasakyan. Mm -hmm. So, ito yung masasabi mong first Uh, cross between an automobile and, and a utility vehicle. Naging mainstay at naging public transportation na natin siya hanggang ngayon. And yung unang uh, pamasahe po, magkano po yun? Baka wala pang piso noon eh. Mga wala 20, pa siguro? 25. 25 na. No? Ito naman yung klase, yung mga sexy types, no? nakalagay kasi sexy sa harap. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some background on this? Well, from from the early World War II Jeep, mm -hmm. nagkaroon ng variation yung sasakyan. Mm -hmm. At dahil may judal yung kulay na olive drab, <laughs> medyo binrighten up nila, gumamit sila ng mga, mga vivid colors ng mga panahon na yun. I see. Sa Saan mo nauso yung pagdodrawing sa side ng mga jeepney? Ano yan eh, parang, you know, just to be different from the rest of the pack, mm -hmm. nagiging kinocustomize nila yung sasakyan at may sariling identity. It shows your religious uh, background. Mm -hmm or yung business mo, o kung kayo galing. Or kung mahilig ka kay Batman at kay Superman. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, ito na ho yung mga skeleton na ng mga jeep ni, no? Mm. And we were saying earlier na handcrafted po lahat ito. Uh -huh. Baka you can tell us more about that, sir. Well, ever since, ganito na yung aming paggawa uh, ng traditional handcrafted na sasakyan. Dahil, mas, mas, itong mas gusto ng mga mamimili natin. Then, if we did some upgrades like automation robotics, then we would be churning up probably hundreds or thousands of units in a month. Eh, ang demands naman natin, nagko-concentrate tayo sa local areas natin. Uh, it's enough to, ano, to do them, to produce them manually. At the same time, 
Nag-generate kami ng livelihood sa ibang businesses around the community. Mm -hmm. Dahil may mga subcontractor kami, may mga craft plant fabricators kami na dito-dito lang na uwi. Uh, mukhang marami rin ho tayong ups and downs. No? May, mm -hmm. Sometimes may economic crisis. Alam ko, nung panahon nung baha, eh, nabaha rin ho kayo dito. Mm -hmm. Paano nyo pinapahaba yung pasensya ninyo? Kasi parang marami talagang challenges. Ano? Well, like nung, nung year 2000, We, na pilitan kami magsara temporarily mm -hmm. para i-downsize yung production. Dahil that time, ano eh, uh, ma-approve na yung bagong wage. Ang pangalaki ng diferensya no? At the same time, may crisis tayo sa ekonomiya at saka unstable yung government. But how did you survive ito? Mag-downsize kami ng production like from 350 workers. Naging 50 na lang kami. Nagpumili kami ng mga give the best talaga at productive na workers. At then, at the same time, tinuloy namin yung paggawa. Meron ho ba kayong, kunyari, meron ba kayong payo ng inyong tatay or, you know, maybe a saying or a line na inuulit-ulit ninyo kapag panahon na medyo mahirap talaga? Ang sabi naman kasi ni tatang noon, basta ba you're, you're living clean at the same time honest ka sa mga customer mo at maganda yung produkto mo, hindi ka basta-basta magpupold ang sagay. Hindi ka tataob. Uh -huh. 10 years old down the line. Pag kayo po ay nasa, no, let's say on your 75th or 80th year, ano po yun na-imagine po ninyo sa inyong kompanya? Opo. Probably we upgraded the unit by that time. Siguro, mas more on environmental na yung sasakyan natin. And mas sophisticated na. Siyempre, we have to, to go sa, sa changes sa mga panahon natin. Mm -hmm. But it's still Jeepney, uh, we'll still be the king of the road. The king of the road? Sa akin, uh, no. Okay. Thank you, sir. Salamat, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Sa anim na dekada ng Saraw Motors, halos lahat na ata ng matinding challenge ay napagdaanan na nila. From natural calamities to economic crisis, pero hindi sila sumuko. Sa kwento ng Saraw Motors, ang success ay parang isang jeepney. Nabubuo ito sa tulog ng tiyaga at mahabang pagpapasensya. Ang sabi nga ng manunulat na si Napoleon Hill, Patience, Persistence, and Perspiration. Make an unbeatable combination for success. Get on today's tip number one. Ay, gusto nyo bang makatulong sa pagbaba ng antas ng kahirapan? Kung oo, oh, sumali sa Project Pagsulong 1 Million Peso Social Enterprise Challenge and be the change you want to see. Okay, alam mo, Josie, noon nakikita-kita ko lang yung saraw jeepney sa kalsada. Pero ngayon, alam ko na talaga yung kwento nila. At napaka-inspiring. Well, nag-uumpisa pa lang ang araw mo. Kaya get ready for more inspiring and refreshing stories. Mamali mo tong next destination mo. Walang iba kundi ang mapagmahal food. Inaantay ka na ng owner na si Sir Nandy Esguera. Alright, let's go! Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Okay, sir Nandi, we're here at what we call back sink. Maybe you can tell us what are the activities that are happening here. Number one, sorting. The conveyor belt sorts the fruit, separating the daon, the tangkai. After they get there, they go to the root crop. Uh, kanilang root crop washer. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, cleaning the fruits without uh, stressing them. Uh -huh. uh, important na wala mas stress kasi lalabas yung lemon essential oil. Pag inom mo, masakit sa throat. That's one way of... Tsaka usually nabubugbog yung fruit, di ba? Kung masyadong ginaganon. Oo, uh -huh. mabubugbog siya. Mm -hmm. This is the third stage. Mm -hmm. Pag kalaman si apat yung ginagamit na batches, pero kung dalandan, dalawa lang. Yung mga dalandan, galing ho yan yeah. sa? Quezon. Sa Robin. Quezon, no? At yung mga kalaman si naman? Ang gagaling ng Mindoro. Mindoro. This year, Mindoro ang nagbibigay. Mm -hmm. 
Was there ever a problem pagdating sa raw materials? Nagka-shortage ko ba kayo na daanan sa Kalamansi o sa well, Dalandan? Yes, meron. Kasi for, for summer, wala talaga. No? Walang Kalamansi. Okay, Anong ginagawa ko niyo? Pag... I have to go to Davao, fly another batch from another ano, region. Davao naman, in aeroplano niya, papunta dito. Okay. So sir, uh, this is the what? What process is this? This is where we extract the uh, the dalandan juice mm -hmm. from the fruit. Uh, this machine is only designed for dalandan in Kalamansi. Okay. So sir, pagkatapos ng juice, nahiwalay na yung mga pulp and everything. Yes. It goes here, no? Yes. I will, after also measuring the batch, it goes here. This is a double jacketed kettle. Mm. So, Anong ginagawa ko nito? This one pasteurizes the, the extract. Mm. So you put in the sugar and the water. Mm. Pag, nag, pag na blend na sila, sasama na yung extract. Yung extract becomes a juice. Okay. And bottling na? Bottling na siya. And a bottle ho na ganito ng, uh, ng calamansi, ilang... How many glasses of juice ko yung pwedeng gawin niya? This one can give you 6.4 liters of juice or 20 na cooking cup. Pagkatapos nila doon, ito na ang packaging. Or labeling na. Labeling na ho. Yung mapula is the kanamang seaweed mangosteen. Mm -hmm. Saan niyo nakukuha yung mangosteen ninyo? Sa palengke din eh. Sa palengke rin. <laughs> Okay. Kasi hindi siya ganun pa karami. Hindi tulad ng kalamansi. Hindi pa, hindi pa siya kasing popular, no? Not yet. Oo. Uh -oh. Ano ko yung ibang advice sa mga entrepreneurs na nakikinig mo sa atin? Huwag pumili ng malaking negosyo. Ah, ganun, no? Let's start with something small. Franchising is not bad. Mm -hmm. Pero it, it's highly, high value masyado. Mm -hmm. Five years from now, saan mo lang mapagmahal food, no? Kasi right now, meron na kayong mga produkto abroad, meron na kayong mga produkto in, in most leading supermarkets, in a lot of restaurants. Ano po po yung next? Five years from now, we hope to be able to give more products that can benefit the market, new ones. Kasi when, when we do five years, we have to be in the trendy type na. Alright? So, yeah, innovation inside the company, outside the, the product, the government has to innovate also. And everything will harmonize. Kailangan Together. po ng innovation, but I think at uh -oh. the end of the day, hindi naman po mawawala ang kalamansi sa puso ng mga Pilipino. Uh, kultura na yan. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> yes, sir. Cheers. Congratulations, sir, and good luck po sa inyo. Thank you. That's really good, ho. Sarap po talaga. Ang tight competition ay isa sa mga challenges na sumubo kay Sir Nandi at sa kanyang negosyo. Lalo na nung nagsisimula pa lang sila. But he faced it and patiently waited for their breakthrough while working on their product innovation and customer service. Today's tip number two, mula naman sa kweto ni Sir Nandi. Waiting passively is laziness, but doing something while waiting is patience. Go-negosyantes, lalo na sa kabisayaan. Know the essentials of pagdinegosyo. Makilahok sa Go-negosyo sa barangay na gagadapin sa September 13 to 16, 2012 sa Boracay Eco Village Resort, Aklan. For more information, call 0906-307-7557-0923-265-2975-02-383-3154 or email at negosyosabarangay at gmail.com. Negosyantes, nauna na nating natutunan kung paano magsimula ng negosyo online via Multiply. Today, we'll learn how Multiply caters to the unique needs of businesses such as multi-level marketing or MLM companies like the Global Fusion Incorporated. Let's take it from their president and multipreneur, Mr. Enrico Noel Ull. Enrico, tell us about uh, Global Fusion first no? before we get into the Multiply aspects of the business. Well, uh, it started four years ago, uh, Global Fusion. Uh, it was a dream ever since. And uh, we've been involved in the industry for quite a while now. Uh, Global Fusion is a direct selling company. We sell products that are involved in really huge industries, booming industries today. Uh, the weight management industry, the wellness industry, uh, the anti-aging industry, you know, uh, beverages and all that. 
uh, natural skincare lines are all there. What what made you decide uh, from being a uh, practitioner of direct selling years ago to being an entrepreneur who set up your own direct selling company? What was that decision like? It was a tough one, uh, mainly because uh, right now every decision that we make is our responsibility now. Mm -hmm. And we would really want to be responsible for decisions that we make on our own. Actually, sa harap namin, may malaking wall at nakalagay, the power of right decisions. Is that the, the mantra of uh, Global Fusion? Yeah, we believe that the core uh, of any decision-making process has always been intention. And uh, we know our intentions and because of that, we believe in uh, making decisions based on the intention. There are a number of direct selling companies in the Philippines, but you are the first direct selling company on Multiply. That's right. Baka you can tell us about that. We had the chance somehow to sit down with the president uh, of Multiply, uh, Mr. Jack Madrid. Uh, we had an intimate meeting. I felt his heart. Uh, I felt their vision and their mission. Uh, I felt their values. And we appreciated it because it's quite very much aligned to ours. So I just believe that when values like these combine, the result is just unstoppable. What does Multiply do for your business? It takes care of uh, ease of transactions. It allowed us to uh, allow, allow their distributors to transact online, which means there's no limit now to geography. Mm -hmm. okay? They can transact anywhere they want, anywhere in the Philippines, and hopefully soon outside the country. They have allowed us to take care of our logistics. They took care of our logistics. So the partnership allowed us to have access to so many logistic partners uh, in Multiply. And so, wala na sakit sa ulo. Mm -hmm. Our distributors can actually focus on their strength, which is uh, referring and introducing customers to our products. Everything is taken care of by Multiply. Tell, tell us about your Multiply shop. No? Okay. Alam ko, we were talking about it earlier. There's a mother store. Okay. Okay, tell us about the mother store and what people can uh, do there, or is it really for people or for other businesses as well? Right now, uh, Global Fusion has opened a mother store in Multiply. And from the mother store, that's where all the distributors purchase their products from. Uh, it's nice because the credibility increases with the brand of Multiply in the picture. So when distributors and their clients buy from them and they can see that the Multiply brand is there, uh, in, instantly the credibility goes up. Okay. Uh, uh, so many you know, um, apprehensions are addressed. Mm -hmm. uh, so many guarantees are in place through Multiply. Mm -hmm. Uh, they actually guarantee so many other things, uh, protection from fraud, uh, uh, chargebacks, and all these things are really taken care of by Multiply. So really thankful. Do you have any advice for people who are thinking of going into business, thinking of um, uh, going down the e-commerce route, for example? We encourage that everywhere we go. No? Uh, the world is getting smaller. Uh, e-commerce is getting felt. Uh, almost every day more and more. No? Uh, we always recommend even our distributors to start going online. Uh, this way they have no more limitations and boundaries as to how far they want to expand their business. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I believe in the next few months and years uh, it's going to be felt, the whole platform within Global Fusion and the rest of the world. I'd like to invite uh, BAM all these uh, customers out there interested in all these products to come into our site, uh, visit our site and explore explore a world of possibilities out there. Hello Josie, uh, napasyalad ko na si Sir Nandi. Alam mo, napaka-refreshing ng good sense lemonada. It's really great. Where do we go next? Well, ilang tulog na lang at mag-uumpisa na ang bear months. We gotta prepare for the Halloween and Christmas. Kaya your next stop is Chris Works Arts and Crafts. I'll send you the details. And I'll send you some good sense lemonada dahil mahal kita. Oh, 
Miss Christy, on August 27, two years old na po yung ating uh, yes. company. Yes. Baka you can tell us so how we started and ano po yung mga gusto pa ninyo for the future. When I... I stayed outside of the Philippines for so long because I, I, uh, my my youngest son was studied there. Mm -hmm. And then when we came back, I have two unemployed brothers. But my brothers are very, very really very creative. Mm -hmm. So I, I I toyed with the idea na I magtayo na lang tayo ng something like handicraft. At the same time, nagkaroon kami ng mission vision na. Ano, to help yung tulungan yung mga disadvantaged okay. group okay. na para magkaroon ng trabaho. Mm -hmm. Ang inisip namin, target market namin, kaya na, na, nasadla kami sa Christmas decors kasi August 27 yun eh. Yung Ramirez, di ba? Oh, palapit yun, ng Christmas. Palapit ng Christmas. Akala namin, we are going to tap the local market. Mm -hmm. But the very first customer na umano sa amin, nag-order is from Dubai. Twice. So we ship it out to Dubai. Then, eto na yung DTI kasi humihingi kami ng ano. Siyempre, nag-start kami. Hindi kami masyadong marunong. So humihingi kami ng assistance sa DTI. Pumupunta ako doon. Sabi ko, kailangan namin ng training. Ganito yung training ang kailangan namin. So pinadala kami sa Design Center of the Philippines. May mga designers doon. Sila yung nag-ano sa amin. Sabi nila, o oh, sige, ganito ang gagawin nyo. Tapos, yun na nga, pinasali kami ng DTI sa Rockwell. One day, one day lang, yes. One day lang, I remember. Free yung trade fair na yun. Doon kami nakakuha ng, Buyer. ng buyers. One from New York, Filipino rin. Of course, yung mga uh, raw materials po, galing sa inyong hometown, ano? Yes, of course. Your home province, no? Yes. Ano kong tawag ulit dito? Sinamay. Sinamay. All, all made from abaca. So, pagating ho ng mga raw materials dito, may disenyo na, meron na kayong purchase order, hindi lang naman ho siguro yung mga kapatid nyo yung nagbubuo lahat, ano? You also have other people to help you out. We, sabi ko sa'yo, nag-outsource kami sa labas, mm -hmm. mga disadvantaged group, pero peace work. Kung ulo-ulo lang, pak-pak-pak-pak lang, gano'n. Uh, Assembly is here. Uh, oh. okay. Pero before that, meron kami quality control. They have to pass the quality control. Uh -huh. Tapos, uh, pag-assembly, after assembly, quality control ole. Mm -hmm. But it seems <laughs> you're a very patient person. Uh, sa negosyong to, you have to be... You have to have plenty of patience. Okay, bakit ito? Give me an example ho na talagang na-testing po yung patience po natin. Itong negosyo ito, naging parang family bonding namin ito. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi magkaharap-harap kami, dalawang brothers ko ako, yung anak kong misa nandito. Tapos ang sabihin, ito yung mga ginawa mo, ang pangit, di pinagtatawa na namin yan. <laughs> okay, meron ho kayong advice sa mga gusto po magsimula ng negosyo? A lot of patience. Huwag kang, ma, huwag kang magagalit, huwag kang madidepress pag maraming lugi. Uh -huh. Siyempre, ganun eh, at the start. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pag may hindi nag-appreciate ang product mo, okay lang yun. Ano huwag lang mo. I really wanted to, to teach the Filipino people to, to appreciate the, the Philippine-made product. Sana uh -huh. yun, yun sana. Ang, ano, kaya lang, eh, nagiging market namin, foreigners eh. Uh -huh. Yan sila pa nag-appreciate ng dapat i-appreciate natin. Natin mismo, ano? Natin mismo. Uh -huh. Ang produkto nila, Miss Christy, ay nangailangan ng mabusising pag-monitor sa quality mula sa raw materials hanggang sa finished product. Kailangan matyaga at mahaba ang PC mo sa pagpili ng bawat materyales at pagbuo ng unique handicraft hanggang sa maging expert ka na dito. Parang sa pagninegosyo, be patient because all things are difficult before they become easy. Mga negosyantes, maraming salamat sa inyong muling pagsama sa amin. Sana po'y na-inspire kayo na pahabayin ang inyong pasensya at pasiglahin ang inyong ambisyon, lalo na sa pagnenegosyo. See you next week. Ako po si Bam Aquino at ito ang SME Go! Huwag kalimutang bumili ng Go Negosyo Books, lalo na ang pinakabagong 50 inspiring stories of young entrepreneurs kung saan kasama ang kwento namin ng aking business partner. Available po yan sa lahat ng leading bookstores nationwide. Need advice on how to start and run your business? We're just a text and click away. Text GO NEGO to 2910 for Globe and Smart. And like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash GO NEGOSYO OFFICIAL or log in to www.gonegosyo.net. Huwag din kalimutan tumutok sa GO NEGOSYO sa radyo every Friday 2 to 3 p.m. sa DZRH para sa Metro Manila at Radyo Natin para naman sa mga provincial areas. At kung interesado kayo sa social entrepreneurship, bumisita lang sa aming website, www.happynoy.com. Thanks to Koleksyone for my shirt on today's show. At mula sa Go Negosyo, maraming salamat sa ating mga annual partners. PLDT, SME Nation, Smart Communications, Meralco, RFM Corporation, BPI Family Kanegosyo, Avon Cosmetics, Multiply.com, 
The Orchard Property Marketing Corporation, Isuzu Philippines Corporation, LBC Express Incorporated, Value Line Systems and Solutions Corporation. At maraming salamat din sa mga kaibigan namin sa Department of Trade and Industry.